Joining me now is Georgia Congressman, Republican Congressman Rich McCormick. Congressman, thank you for, for joining us. You know, it's, it's interesting. Uh, Kamala Harris actually said back when she was a district attorney in San Francisco that the government had a right to go into your home, your private home, to inspect your guns to see if you were storing those weapons responsibly. What say you to that? Oh, this is typical of the Democrats' uh, playbook. They believe the government is the answer to all of your problems. And if you don't believe this, look at what they do. Look at what they talk about. And they change their, their colors like chameleons. Uh, they pretend like they're for fracking. They pretend like they're for Second Amendment. They pretend like they're for low taxes and, and regulation. They pretend like they're for the southern border right about the time of the election. And as soon as they get elected, they flip-flop on everything and they come after us. They literally come after our Second Amendment. They come after the weapons that we have to defend ourselves against a powerful and overreaching government. That's why we established it to begin with, because we see what happens when a government becomes too powerful and we become powerless. That's what we always try to defend ourselves against. The Democrats absolutely want to have control of everything. Well, to that point, let's listen to a, a spokesperson for the uh, campaign uh, claiming that Kamala staunchly supports the Second Amendment. She has made it very clear that she staunchly supports the Second Amend Amendment. She, was sta she supports strong, gu responsible gun ownership, um, and she does own a, own a firearm. So um, I don't, I, you know, I don't know. I can't really comment more than that. You know, Congressman, There's what concerns me about this when you, yeah, when you when you look at um, what her running mate uh, said about the First Amendment, saying uh, that there are no are no guarantees to free speech, you really do wonder what a Harris Waltz administration would do to our civil liberties in this country. Look, Waltz is an admitted socialist. Harris has always talked about bigger, stronger government. When you talk about assault weapons, what does that mean? She never defines that, by the way. She talks about these weapons are designed to kill a lot of people. What? What do you think your handgun is designed? What do you think kills most people in America? It's handguns, not AR-15s. Uh, it's handguns. And uh, by the way, all the killing is done pretty much illegally. All those weapons that are used to kill people pretty much are owned illegally. So they think that by making laws that they're all of a sudden going to get rid of violence. They think that by taking people's uh, guns, the people who law abidingly uh, buy a weapon, those are the people going to get rid of the, the violence. It's never, ever worked and never will work. All it's going to do is make the government more powerful, empower those people who have the weapons illegally, who are doing illegal activities to rob and pillage those people who follow the laws. This is the worst case of hypocrisy you'll ever see. So, so Congressman, I, I know that Kamala Harris was in your state today. She was in Cobb County, Georgia. What was fascinating, she was in an auditorium of about 650 that could seat about 650 barely filled up that, that room. And I'm wondering if her message, and she's really pounding in on this, uh, this abortion message, spewing a lot of lies about the policies there in Georgia. I is that really resonating with people? I sure hope not. I'm an ER doctor. I served right here into the, until I swore into office for uh, uh, the 118th Congress. I have never, ever, and nor would any other doctor deny an abortion for someone who's going to die as a result of keeping the baby. First of all, if the mother dies, the baby dies too. They keep on saying, no exceptions. That's, uh, you know what it is. It's absolutely ludicrous. It's a lie. Uh, the fact of the matter is we protect the mother's life, but we also protect human life. And we have to define what that is, of course, but we are state determined. This is not a federal issue. Uh, we've already had the ruling by the Supreme Court. That's not going to change unless you have a constitutional amendment. They need to go over it and move on because there are a lot bigger things that we're handling right now. And, and on that note, one other issue here, a lot of breaking news coming out of your state tonight. Uh, the Georgia Elections Board uh, deciding that every vote's going to be hand counted. The Washington Post says it could take you guys months to count those, those five million ballots. So what's your reaction to the uh, decision today? I have no idea. I'm trying to find out where this came from. I saw it was a three to two ruling, but I'm trying to figure out how. I mean, it makes no sense whatsoever. We don't want to be the focus of this election. Uh, I, I say I'm going to call right here as I call on a football game. I say Trump wins by two points in Georgia. We carry the day. I'm really worried about Pennsylvania and other states, but we'll, we'll take care of business. But this is just another thing that I worry about. The longer it takes, the more time they have to cheat. And I've seen it happen. and I don't want it to happen again. I don't want this to be a controversial election. Why do they screw with something once we fixed it? I don't know. Uh, we had a really good election last time. I want to see it hammered home that we are a good, solid yeah. rate state, red state. 
All right, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Congressman Rich McCormick calling it under the Friday night lights. Tonight on Newsmax, Georgia for Trump. Thanks a lot, Congressman. Always a pleasure.